In this lecture, as usual, I'm going to be talking about you. And I'm going to be talking about a very interesting part of your body called the gastrointestinal tract. That was Barbara O'Neill. Today, we are diving into a fascinating and incredibly important topic at health, which includes the gastrointestinal tract and natural remedies for various ailments. Gut health is fundamental to overall well-being. The gut is often referred to as the second brain because of its crucial role in our health, affecting everything from digestion to mood. Barbara O'Neill, a renowned author, educator, and international speaker, passionate about empowering people to harness their body's innate healing abilities. Barbara O'Neill is the author of Self Heal by Design and has been featured in numerous health seminars and retreats worldwide. Her approach emphasizes natural healing, proper nutrition, and the body's incredible ability to heal itself when given the right conditions. Barbara O'Neill has extensive experience and knowledge in natural health, making her the perfect person to guide us through this. She will be sharing some insights and natural remedies that can help improve good health and address a range of common ailments. Now, let's listen to her talk to us about the gut. How do you know if the gut's working right? Let me give you a story of a man that came to our health retreat with his wife. He was 68, his wife was 67. I said, what is your reason for coming to our retreat? He said, I'm here to accompany my wife. I said, right. Um, I said, how many bowel movements do you average a day? Because I did a health assessment on him. He said, six. I said, oh, that's a lot. He said, yes, I've got irritable bowel. I said, oh. Are you on medication? Yes. And he listed the anti-inflammatories and the cortisones. He said, yes, recently the doctor said I can do no more for you. That sounds pretty severe. Any indications of what the source of his problem was? I said, ah. Oh. And then I looked at what he ate. He loved bread, he loved meat, he loved dairy, and he loved sugar, and he loved a couple of scotches every night. So, what did you suggest he do? You see, when you're healing an irritated gut, this, this is what you've got to do. Number one, stop all the irritants. What are the irritants? Wheat, dairy, in fact, all the things he was having. Refined sugar. alcohol. All of these foods are like kerosene to a fire to an irritated gut. What else did he need to do? Number two, probiotic. Probiotic is for life. And that cortisone that he was on, it's, it can break down that gut flora. The very thing he was taking to supposedly heal him, it wasn't at all. All it does is stop the gut being inflamed. Probiotic foods are rich in beneficial bacteria that support gut health. Here are some examples of probiotic foods. One, yogurt. Made from milk fermented by beneficial bacteria, typically lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. Two, kefir. A fermented milk drink made with kefir grains containing a diverse range of probiotics. Three, Sauerkraut, fermented cabbage that is rich in lactobacillus bacteria. For kimchi, a traditional Korean dish made from fermented vegetables, primarily cabbage, and seasoned with various spices. 5. Mizo, a Japanese seasoning produced by fermenting soybeans with salt and koji, which is a fungus. 6. Tempa, a fermented soybean product that forms a firm patty and has a nutty flavor. 7. Kombucha, a fermented tea drink made with a scoby, symbiotic culture of bacteria, and yeast. 8. Pickles, cucumbers that have been fermented in brine can also be a good source of probiotics. 9. Enato, fermented soybeans that are a traditional Japanese food known for their strong flavor and sticky texture. 10. Buttermilk, 
Traditional buttermilk is the leftover liquid from churning butter and contains probiotics. 11. Certain cheeses Some cheeses, such as gouda, mozzarella, cheddar, and cottage cheese, contain probiotics. Including these probiotic foods in your diet can help support a healthy balance of gut bacteria and contribute to overall digestive health. Barbara, anything else? And number three, there is a herb called slippery elm, and slippery elm coats, soothes, and heals the lining of the gut. Psalm 104, verse 14, the Bible says, God gave herbs for the service of man. Slippery elm is a remarkable herb. It not only gives form to the stool, it coats, soothes, and lines the gut, and it contains a growth stimulant, so it can stimulate rapid healing in the lining of the gut. The inner bark of the slippery elm tree is used for its medicinal properties. It has a mucilaginous gel-like texture when mixed with water, which can coat and soothe the lining of the stomach and intestines, making it useful for treating various digestive issues. Here are some slippery elm uses. 1. Soothe sore throats and coughs. 2. To alleviate gastrointestinal issues like gastritis, acid reflux, and irritable bowel syndrome. 3. Promote healing of the digestive tract lining. For relieve symptoms of inflammatory bowel diseases such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. So, how did you approach him? I said, can I try some things on you? He said, certainly. Now, we don't serve any wheat or dairy or refined sugar or alcohol at our health retreat. You've probably noticed. I gave him slippery elm four times a day, morning, noon, 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. at night. And I gave him a double dose of probiotic. So, how did it go? You see, he told me he walks by the beach every morning and where he walks, there are four restrooms on his walk. <laughs> he's got to because he's got to keep going in. So in his one hour walk every morning, he's got to do four stops. First two days of the program, he's on juices. So I'm watching him closely. I said, how many times are you going? He said, five, that's one less, on juices. You see, the slippery elm gives form and coats and soothes. The second day, he was very happy. He said, I only had to stop three times on my morning walk this morning. And he's going four times. He's dropping one movement a day, fantastic. And it's becoming formed. Wednesday eating food was much better. I said to him, I believe you can stop your anti-inflammatories and halve your cortisone. He was not interested in doing that on day one, but because of the results he was getting, he became interested. By Friday, he's going three times a day, that's exciting, and formed. The bleeding from the bowel had stopped. The cramping had stopped. Did you, this is on medication, all that was happening. On Sunday morning, he came running up to me very excited. He said, I just went on my morning walk and didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how exciting. Three natural cures, how exciting. When he came to our health retreat, who was he here for? And he sat in the consultation like this. Because of the results he was getting, he was very interested. Because what has his doctor just told him? I can do no more for you. In fact, I know what's next. They start cutting out the colon. Mm-hmm. And you want to keep away from the knife, if at all possible. <laughs> and you see, it's our responsibility to prove to our doctor that we can do it. Hmm. And isn't it wonderful when you surprise them? We live in an amazing body. This man's been dealing this, with this for 30 years. How long was he at our health retreat? One week. He's not healed, but he's getting a long way towards it. Mm -hmm. Will that treatment work for anything else? That will work for gastritis, ulcerative gastritis, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, colitis. It will heal them all. 
How long will it take? How long's a piece of string? Depends how willing the person is to adhere to what you've got to do. And it also depends on how much medication they're on and how long it's been like this. But I can't think of a case more serious than this man's. 30 years <laughs> going six times a day, blood, cramping, almost liquid. Remember, your health is the lock and we're here to provide the keys. Keep turning to Key Health for insights that unlock your full potential. The key to lifelong vitality is in your hands. It's just one bite away.